All right. So the Super Falcons are definitely buzzing after picking up one of, if not Nigeria's biggest win at the FIFA Women's World Cup. But now they must put all that to the side and focus on the real task of qualifying for the next round of the competition. Before we get into a lot of details surrounding this match, please don't forget to like this video and also subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Thank you very much. So yeah, Nigeria face Ireland in their third match of the group, and that's Group B. The match will be played on Monday, the 31st of July, 11 a.m. Nigerian time, and it will be hosted at the Lang Park in Brisbane, Australia, and that will be 8 p.m. over there. Now, Ireland will go into the game without a point in the bag. They lost their opening match of the group against Australia, and that was by a goal to nil. Then they lost by two goals to one to Canada in their second match, so that makes them dead last in the group at the moment, and it also means they will not be qualifying into the next round of the competition. Now, the Super Falcons, on the other hand, have picked up four points out of the possible six. Their first match in the group was against Canada. It ended in a goalless draw. Then their second match of the group, of course, against Australia, 3-2 win for the Super Falcons. And when you look at the group table, you see the Super Falcons on the number one slot. They do have the same amount of points as Canada, even the same goal difference but they're ahead because they have scored more goals so far. Now to guarantee passage into the next round, the Super Falcons must avoid defeat. Now they can still make it if they do lose, but that would mean a couple of things will have to happen. For example, if we lose by more than one goal and the other two teams play out a draw, that would mean that we're out the competition. Now at the same time, a loss for us and a Canada win will also mean we're in the next round. But an Australia win and a Nigeria loss can really get complicated when it gets to goal difference and things like that. On the opposite side, a win for the Super Falcons is not the ultimate guarantee that they'll be number one in the group when it all is said and done. Because if Canada wins also, it would then come down to goal difference and goal scored maybe disciplinary records and things like that. It kind of makes for a great ending to the group because nobody really knows much going into this match. You just want to perform your best. You're not really aiming for something. You're not thinking I must draw or I must win by one or two goals. You never know. You could win by three goals and still not get what you want. Now going into the match, the Super Falcons media officer has announced that every player in camp is fit and ready to go. Although we still got Deborah Bjordan who's gonna be missing the next match. She had the red card against Canada in the first match of the competition. I thought it was gonna be a one match suspension. The rule book kind of led me to think in that direction but now you got the disciplinary preview put out by FIFA and it says that she is suspended for the upcoming match against Ireland. So it is what it is. Now you got some other players at risk of getting a suspension if they pick up one more booking. I see Saro Shwala, of course, she took off a shirt against Australia. Blessing Demain, she got the yellow card against Canada. And Michelle Alose got the yellow card against Australia in the last match. So all these players definitely will have to be careful. Then you get to the fitness side of things. Holly Matu they picked up an injury in the match against Australia. She had to be subbed off at the 76 minute mark. Looked like an ankle situation. According to reports, she's doing good and should be available for the next match. Then you got Osinachi Ohale who took that big kick on the way to scoring the second goal against Australia. I believe she's been on the receiving and um, probably the toughest foul so far in this competition. And that's crazy because she's a central defender. She's more like the player supposed to be dishing out the pain but it seems like everybody has been dishing it out to her she took that big kick to score the goal against Australia toughed it out and stayed in the game of course after the game there's gonna be some more checkups and after those checkups she is doing just fine and should be available for the next match then you got Tony Payne who also suffers from a rash challenge the player clattered into her she was down for a good amount of time but she ended up getting back up seemed like she wasn't gonna be coming back into the game but credit to the matter 
medical team who told the coach to wait up on the substitution and she came back into the game played a part in the first and the third goal and you do wonder what our chances were if she did not continue in that match because she played a big big part for the super falcons but that being said according to reports she is just fine and will be ready to go against ireland then you have desire paranose the last time i spoke about her they were saying she was ready for the next game that's what i heard that's what i said but she did not play the last game could it be the coaching decision or could it be she is not fully healthy now in these reports they're saying she's closer to full fitness so i don't really know hopefully we get to see her if not we do have players that could do the job that have been doing the job so that's a plus right there now when it comes to the referee on the day we got katia garcia from mexico in fact all three on field officials will be from mexico karen diaz mandina the first assistant referee and anadina caudillo the second assistant referee then you got the fourth official and i don't even know if fifa made this lady a tour guide over there because this the third time she's gonna be taking part in one of our matches she was the center referee from the first match against Canada Lena Letovara then they made her the fourth official for the match against Australia and now once again she's gonna be the fourth official for this match against the Republic of Ireland now I'm definitely not saying that they should be some pro Nigerian type referees I'm not saying they should be giving us calls or anything like that I'm just asking for fairness in this situation what you gonna call for us you need to call for them that that's it we're not asking for anything special just call the game the way it should and credit to the referee in the last game which was philippines against new zealand that's an easy match that she could have been like okay let me help the home team but she kept the real all the way to the end and we're just hoping that she does the same thing with this match now with the Super Falcons starting lineup, I'm pretty much expecting more of the same from head coach Randy Waldrum. Probably a couple of changes will be made. Maybe I see Sutter Schwala coming back into the starting lineup because this is definitely not a type of situation you could play around with. The coach would definitely want to put his best foot forward going into this match, especially when you're playing an island side that gave Australia and Canada all they could handle both teams were lucky to come out with a result honestly because Ireland really played some good football in both matches good attacking good defending I mean they're a really good team so if the Super Falcons want to walk away from this match with a good result they'll have to give it everything you'll have to play with the same intensity and drive that you use with the other teams then we definitely have to improve on the set piece defense the second goal scored by the Australian was from a corner kick not the best defense right there on the set piece the goalkeeper Chiamaka is kind of out of place I also wasn't a big fan of the Ashley Plumpter substitution I felt like it took a lot of size out the team and it wasn't really needed she didn't look that tired going out the game but that being said let me know your thoughts on the match let me know your predictions let me know everything put it in the comment section Super Falcons of Nigeria take on the Republic of Ireland in their third and final group match of the FIFA Women's World Cup match will be played on Monday the 31st of July wishing the Super Falcons the best of luck in all three points at the end of the day please don't forget to like this video and also subscribe to the channel if you haven't already thank y'all for watching Peace.